Hey, this is Dr. Lou, and today we're going to be making fiocchetti with a pear filling and an asparagus cream sauce. They can also be called fiocchi, or little bundles, little satchels. Fiocchi pasta are not to be confused with fiocchi bullets, which are created by Fiocchi Ammunition Company, created in 1876 in Lecco, Italy, by Giulio Fiocchi. The ingredients are here. You can see that we've got the white pepper, the nutmeg, the cheese, we've got the olive oil, the salt, the cream, the milk, the flour, the butter, and the asparagus. These pears, or the one pear that I'm going to use, I'm going to chop up into little fine pieces as you can see here. You want them to be chopped pretty small. That's how it should look. And then we put it in the bowl to be mixed with the ricotta cheese and then the mascarpone. We're going to use one cup of ricotta, half a cup of mascarpone. We're going to use one pear. We're going to use about a quarter to a half of cup of Parmesan, which is going to go in next. And then we're going to use a dash of salt and some white pepper as well. And now we're gonna mix it all up. You're gonna need fresh pasta dough and it's gonna to need to be pretty thin. I have a recipe for fantastic pasta dough that you can watch on this channel. You're gonna roll it super thin, like I said. Now, with that rolling machine, that basically equates to a thickness of six or seven. So you're gonna roll it out really, really nicely. If it's too thick, where you bunch the pasta up, it's not going to cook through, and you're gonna get an uneven pasta. The, the bundle will be cooked, the underside, with the cheese filling, but the top will be undercooked. It will not be cooked enough. So you can see I've cut out these little circles of pasta and then I put a small little drop, more than a drop, a teaspoon of filling and then wrap the little bundle up around the pasta so it looks like that. Now that one, because the dough is a little dry, it popped through. You can see how the cheese is coming out right there. Thought about maybe hiding it, but I am going to show you what it looks like in just a second here. See, there you go. That's not gonna work. It's going to break in the water as it's cooking and create a big mess. So that one should be discarded. The rest of them look just right. I'm not gonna show you how to boil pasta. You get the water to a mild rolling boil and you cook the pasta for somewhere around four minutes. For the sauce, you're gonna add a little bit of butter to the small pan there. And then when it's cooked down, you're gonna add the flour. In the other pan, the blue one, we've got butter melting to cook the asparagus. We're gonna make a bit of a, a roux by mixing the flour in with the butter. And then we're gonna slowly add the cream and the milk and create the base of the sauce. We're adding the milk here. And then if you see behind my hand, that asparagus looks amazing. In just a second, we're gonna add those inch long pieces of asparagus to the sauce. But first, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Now I added a lot of Parmesan cheese to this recipe, which thickened the sauce, maybe a little bit more than normal, but I wanted that extra bite to it. it came out really, really nicely. So you can see we add the asparagus, and then when it comes time to plate the dish, you can either mix the fiocchetti in a pan with the sauce and then throw it all on the plate, or you can drizzle the sauce over the top of the pasta, which is exactly what I did. I loved the way it came out. It was perfect with a glass of wine. From start to finish, this recipe takes a while, but it's well worth the effort. It's a lot of fun, and it's not really that difficult to make. Enjoy. Enjoy.